just have nightmares about this. Did you have power and loss? Sorry? Did you have power and loss? I did. That's what my last one was. You did not have power and loss. Well, you missed that. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Tag team mathematics instructor. I've met her. Tag team mathematics instructor. You've you, got an overhead projector here. This is when this is you know, overhead projector here while Tyler is giving the presentation. Rawson's over there getting one ready. And as soon as the presentation comes up, Rawson comes up, fills this board up, you know, slides it. And when he's, when he's done filling that up, she starts to project it. Again. One time I thought I was going to get out of taking a class. I signed up to Dr. Merritt, and uh, it was at, the, at a different uh, room over in the next building. And I showed up to the room and it said, class is canceled, go to room 109, call. And I knew, well, I'm not avoiding them. <laughs> I think she did it on purpose. I have vaguely remembered Dr. Rothman when I was a senior. Rothman was Tyler's suit. He keeps it from the first day. Right, I'm going to silence my phone. I don't know. I don't know.
I you know, I, it's so new to me that I, I have you know, All right, thank you for coming to Engineering Exposition 2011. Uh, this year's theme is On the Shoulders of Giants, and that's a slightly old saying, uh, but it is really applicable today. Uh, standing on the shoulders of giants, I personally am standing on the shoulders of giants of everyone that has come before me that has helped plan this event. Uh, I'm very happy to see lots of young faces that are excited about uh, engineering, uh, science, technology, and math today. I hope you've enjoyed all of the various exhibits across the, uh, across the Speed School student campus. All the way from the SAE, uh, that was the SAE cars, all the way to the AICAG Ublek. Hopefully, you had fun all the way in between. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, some housekeeping business first. We have a few awards uh, to give out to students. Uh, is uh, Brady Alexander here? Brady Alexander's here. You can come to the front and pick up his award. Also, uh, <laughs> Lucas, uh, Lucas Whitman, I believe. Tess McGraw, and then one last award goes to Simon Cameron. So, if you are here, you can come to the front and pick up your prizes. We have uh, several engineering toys and gadgets that you can walk away with. So, I am going to introduce our Director of Corporate and Alumni Relations, Ali Ube, to uh, introduce our keynote speaker. Okay, well, thank you guys for coming out. I hope you're having a great day. It's been really a, the rain stops, so I think it's going to be a nice day. And hopefully, really enjoyable. Um, as Jared said, I'm the Director of Corporate and Alumni Relations. And I'm here to introduce our keynote speaker, whose name is James McClarkin. He is currently a professor at Rice University in Texas. And he's going to speak to you about kind of how he got into engineering and hopefully kind of um, inspire you all to maybe pursue engineering in the future. Here he is. Good morning, everybody. Microphone turned off for good afternoon. Um, so I teach computer science and robotics, um, and I'm very excited to be here at the Speed School. I'm blown away with the level of um, uh, quality and, and energy that I've seen in the students' presentations this morning. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing other products this afternoon. Um, so my talk is titled Enhance with Robots. Um, so let's, uh, let's go through some of the steps. So, so every talk needs a good outline. Um, I'm going to begin with the end of the world. Talk about robotics, science fiction versus science reality. Um, then I move on briefly to um, talk about multi-robot systems, swarms of robots, which is what I do. Um, and then uh, we'll have a brief session of swarm school, get you guys involved a little bit. Move on to a brief autobiographical sketch on how I got to be where I am, and conclude the course with the 50 book. Um, so off we go to the end of the world. So Hollywood has three main plots about robots that you see. Uh, they've got the Frankenstein plot, which is all about society's views and artificial life forms. Um, there's the Tin Man plot, which means artificial life forms want to be more like people. And then there's the Terminator plot, which giant killer robots take over the world. And that's the one that causes the most problems. So let's talk about that. Um, there are three laws that you would read out of Gazemol uh, back in 1942. He said that, you know what? If we get robots to, first of all, um, uh, not injure the community or allow the community to come to harm. Uh, law number two, um, robots protect only uh, the beta orders, excuse me, given 